it guys, I finished all three trials. We have successfully neutralized the acid. Um, and for trial one, it took 50.2 milliliters of the 0.1 molar um, sodium hydroxide. And trial two, it took 49.1 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. And trial three, it was 49 milliliters. Um, and we would, want, we would expect to see consistency. Oftentimes when you're doing your very first titration, your first trial in particular might be quite a bit off, maybe by like 10 milliliters or so. And that's because you're just getting used to it and maybe you have kind of overshot at the equivalence point just by not adding drop by drop. Um, so just when you, when you come back to the lab and you have that experience, don't be alarmed if your data doesn't look exactly like mine. Now, why would there be some variation? Um, great question. Obviously there can always be human error when you're actually doing the titration. Another possibility is that, um, you know, I use the volumetric flasks at the 25 mils of uh, sulfuric acid. And so it's, it's definitely possible that maybe I overshot or undershot uh, the little line here on the flask, even though I tried to fill it with a um, pipette so that that would be as accurate as possible. There's, there's definitely a possibility that it could have had some variation there. So what I want to do before I do my titration calculation is I want to get an average for the three trials of how many milliliters on average it took to, um, to neutralize. So I'm just gonna do 50.2 plus 49.1 plus 49 divided by three is 49.43 mils. Okay, so that's the average volume. I'm gonna move you over. Move you over. <clears throat> Before I start doing my calculation down here. Okay, so I now know the volume of base that I used to titrate. All right, and so I had 49.43 mils. that I used in these three trials um, to titrate this 25 milliliters of um, unknown sulfuric acid. So the last step, guys, is that we need to figure out what would be the molarity of that unknown acid given that um, it takes 49.43, according to our calculations, mils to um, titrate it. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's, let's figure it out. So here's what we're gonna do. The very first step we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and convert milliliters to liters. And the reason that we're gonna do that is we're gonna be working with molarity, which remember is mole over liter. And so we're gonna start out by just going ahead and multiplying this by a conversion factor and going ahead and converting to milliliters. So 49.43 divided by 1,000 is what I'm doing in my calculator, and that's 0 0.04943 liters. I'm going to change pens because it seems like that blue is a little bit tough. All right, so I've got 0 0.0493 liters of sodium hydroxide solution and I know it's molar concentration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna determine how many moles of sodium hydroxide were in the 49.43 mils of sodium hydroxide solution, okay? So I'm gonna do that by multiplying the molarity of the NaOH, so we know that 0.1 molar, so mole over liter, and again, this is NaOH solution, and we're gonna multiply this by the number of liters that we had to use in the titration, so 0 0.04943 liters of solution. All right, now liters is gonna cancel, and I'm gonna end up with the moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay. 
okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some stoichiometry, all right? I'm gonna use the mole to mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation to go from moles of sodium hydroxide to moles of sulfuric acid, okay? I'm gonna just erase this just to give myself a little more space. So we ended with 0 0.00, .00 four nine four three mole NaOH. Now we're going to multiply that by the stoichiometric ratio where we're going to put mole sodium hydroxide on the bottom and I'm getting that two from the coefficient from the balanced chemical equation. All right, and one from the coefficient for sulfuric acid from the balanced chemical equation. Okay, so that means that we've got point zero zero two four seven one five mole of H two F. mole sodium hydroxide canceled and we ended with mole of H2SO4. Now what are we actually trying to figure out? So we're trying to figure out molarity, right? So I've figured out the moles. So what do I not have? I don't have the volume, okay? So remember that molarity is mole over liter, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that 25 milliliters, that was the volume of sulfuric acid that we had, and I'm gonna go ahead and convert that to liters. Okay, and I'm gonna take 0 0.025 liters of sulfuric acid solution and I'm going to divide the number of moles by the volume now that we've converted it to liters and we're going to cross our fingers Point zero nine eight eight six, which is really close to one second. So this is the bottle that I poured that sulfuric acid out of, and it is 0.1 molar sulfuric acid. So we could pretty quickly, and I think let's do it, calculate our percent error, okay? So I'm gonna erase all this good stuff. Okay, so remember percent error, Okay, measured, which for us is the absolute value of measured. Okay, minus accepted. Over accepted times 100. one point one four percent not bad all right guys that's titration I absolutely hate that we missed doing this as a lab experience um, 
I am looking into some summer opportunities for students who are interested in just coming in and doing some lab, um, and especially if you are signed up for AP Chem um, next year, uh, just to come in and do some of the labs that we would have done, um, probably as a part of our Summer Odyssey um, program this summer. So nothing is set in stone, nothing definitive, but just kind of be on the lookout for some communications um, a little bit later on uh, about some opportunities uh, to, to sign up for a, a chemistry camp as a part of Summer Odyssey. So you can come in and get some practice doing titration as well. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.